What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Eddie Hearn. Eddie Hearn backs Fury to beat Usyk, but he's confident Joshua will beat both. Eddie Hearn, promoter of heavyweight contender Anthony Joshua, believes Tyson Fury would beat Alexander Usyk if the two unbeaten champions ever met in the ring. Back in September, Usyk outboxed Joshua and took all of his belts. And the following month, Fury retained his WBC belt as he knocked out Deontay Wilder. And this is what Hearns had to say. He said, it's hard to split those guys right now. Tyson Fury, I think, beats Alexander Usyk. I do because of his size, because of his movement. I think it's a great fight. It might not be the most entertaining fight to watch. I believe AJ can beat them all. Okay. He said, if you want to rank them now on paper of today, then I think you have to you have to do one and two. Usyk and Fury, Hearn said. You know three, AJ, and four, Dillian White, and five, Deontay Wilder. I thought Fury's last fight was uh, thrilling, but if I'm being critical, he's beaten one guy in the last three years. I don't see how you can keep moving up pound for pound lists just by beating the same guy. I believe AJ is the best heavyweight in the world. Now is... He's still the best heavyweight in the world. He's got to prove it. Those are the words of Eddie Hearn. Um, let me counterpunch. Truth of the matter is, when you're talking about uh, Joshua, Tyson Fury, Usyk, we have to go with what we know, right? Because we can talk about Usyk, Tyson all we want, but then we still have to see Usyk and... Uh, Joshua too. Uh, we have to see what White and Fury produces because we don't know. Um, and it could very well be Usyk taking on White. A lot of people don't look at that. Everyone had a big smoke screen this year. You guys can remember when we had Joshua Fury and this big UK showdown and then fighters came out of nowhere uh, a fight came out of nowhere that no one expected, and that was Deontay Wilder winning his court case and stealing the opportunity to fight Fury, which totally killed that because Joshua lost. So I think we should pump our brakes on, hey, uh, I think Tyson Fury and Usyk. Tyson Fury may never fight Usyk, okay? <laughs> because Tyson Fury may lose to White, right? But if we're doing a fantasy matchup, I don't think that fight is a boring fight at all. Why? Because people assume that Usyk is this boring, pure boxing guy that does not have any true grit or true determination, or he doesn't throw punches and bunches. We've seen in the 12th round against Joshua that the guy can be exciting. We know Tyson Fury's exciting, but how good is Tyson Fury against someone that's elusive or just elusive is him. So we have to be realistic about that. So people saying, and I know Eddie Hearn said that, of course, not being exciting. He isn't promoting any of these guys, so he doesn't have a pony in the show, right? So why would he promote those guys? And I know Roy Jones said the same thing. But listen, at the end of the day, Usyk is an exciting fighter. He just knows when to fight and when not. He knows when to apply the pressure, and that's what makes him dangerous. Out of nowhere, he can hit you with four or five punch combinations being a smaller fighter and in fact I think Usyk's size helps him it benefits him okay because a lot of people are like oh Fury's gonna just hug on him no not a guy that moves like Usyk how can you lay on a guy that he's not there to lay on counter punch okay so as far as Joshua beating them both well let's talk about Joshua for a minute well we know he got beat by Usyk so we know that Usyk has the uh, ha has the ability to beat Anthony Joshua. We know that. Okay, so him saying, oh, well, I think Joshua beats them both. Well, we're going to have to see in the rematch now, won't we? But we know Usyk can beat Joshua. <laughs> okay, so Joshua fighting Tyson Fury, though, that's another story. Okay, um, but I can tell you this. Eddie Hearn's right about fighting the same guy for three years. You don't like, you shouldn't get that much credit. You know, I mean, don't hate on Tyson Fury because he did what he had to do, especially the third fight. 
See, the second fight, he did what he wanted to do. The third fight, he did what he had to do. Why? Because he had to fight Deontay Wilder. The court told him so. Well, the judge or arbitrator told him so, right? Supposedly. So he had to do that. All right? He couldn't run off in the sunset and go do something else. He couldn't do it. So he had to put it on Wilder again. And he owed Deontay Wilder an ass whooping anyway because of all the stuff that he said. So, you know, but Wilder and Joshua are two different beasts. Okay, so that that fight, well, you got a guy that likes to fight on the inside, that has the capability, you know, has more boxing pedigree than Wilder. So that fight, I think, would be interesting also because you got two guys with similar size. Of course, Tyson Fury's bigger than all of them. But, you know, this is this is the bodybuilding, quote unquote, Anthony Joshua, you know, so. That would be one hell of a fight. But I think in reality, we can't overlook the idea of both of those guys losing because Alexander Usyk could, in fact, beat Joshua again and Dillian White upset Tyson Fury. And everybody will be like, but just know I told you so first because this is the sport that I love that I hate so much for a reason. Anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Eddie Hearn saying that Joshua beats Alexander Usyk and Tyson Fury, of course, please subscribe. And you guys can counterpunch. Peace.